show. Coming up, some of my favourite moments of the year. Enjoy. The people of Europe have come up with a foolproof way to stop Brexit. A boy band. <laughs> this is true. They've written a song so powerful, they think it can stop Brexit. Let's have a look at this life-changing ballad. We'll get out of this together, make our union ever closer. We'll set course for peace and prosperity. Forget Brexit, that makes you want to join ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> My favourite bit is when they start playing in the sand like dying slugs. in trouble. Have you seen where they're going to perform? There are plans to take the band on a tour of pubs around the UK. <laughs> they're going to die! <laughs> Can you imagine them prancing into a Wetherspoons? Britain, come back! <laughs> Britain, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Cheryl, release the dogs! <laughs> Listen to the number one reason they think we should stay. We'll always be connected. Our lives are intertwined. You can't change your course without remorse. Look at what you leave behind. <laughs> like anyone's gonna be, well, I've changed my mind. <laughs> I mean, sure, I'm against centralised power and fishing quotas, but look at his abs! <laughs> I mean, you see a stomach like that, you rethink your entire political outlook. <laughs> Muscles don't change your politics. Or well, Corbyn would look like this. <laughs> <laughs> Scientists are warning today that insects could become extinct within 100 years. Poor guys. They're not taking it well. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, some people are helping. It's a nice-looking flower you got there, Bumblebee. High five. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Others are going too far. Man dates cockroach for a year. <laughs> dates a cockroach. What's he lifting up rocks and pretending it's tinder? Just, no, <laughs> no, no, yes. Is he ashamed? No. He did an interview. Sex, sex, no, 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 Get worse, yeah. Look how their relationship ended. まあ、だからちょっとさすがに亡くなった人がもう結構ショックだったんですけど、まあ、いつか来るだろうなっていうのはまあ、それは前相手がお気売りで寿命もあるんで、まあ、そうだなっていうのは思ってたんで、最後は
<laughs> the poison did with Novichok, and now we have to flee. <laughs> As a huge fan of The Office and uh, yeah. uh, extras, any plans for you and Ricky to work together again? Not at the moment, but there's, but never say never. There's no reason yeah. not to. It's just, uh, you know, we've just kind of we're dancing to our own tunes mm. at the moment. But um, no, it would be great. I mean, what we've got... tunes do you dance to? You don't mind me asking. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, it's mainly Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. For me, do a lot of dancing in the dark. <laughs> yeah. You know, just <laughs> do all that stuff. Um, yeah. Have you Sat met? Down. <laughs> Have you met Springsteen? Hanging out in your... In Honestly, your... He's my, he is my hero. He is, is he? The one, he's the one person I worship him. Have you seen um, the Netflix special? I well, I saw it live on Broadway. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, no big deal. Mm. Um, <laughs> I went to see him... The last time I saw him, I was in L.A. And, yeah. uh, and I went two nights in a row. And the first night, he... Uh, every night, it turns out, he does this stage dive where he kind of falls back on the hands of the crowd and they kind of carry him above them. And he keeps singing Hungry Heart the whole way. Yeah. He goes all the way across the crowd to the, to the stage. And so I went the first night I was watching these, enviously watching these people, you know, being the, the hands. And uh, I thought, tomorrow night, I'm getting a piece of that action. So I knew where to stand. <laughs> so I went back the following night, waited for it. I knew it was coming. Hungry heart. He comes. Here he comes. I, get, I line up, pushing people out of the way, you know, old ladies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Here he comes. And he's coming towards me. And, I'm, uh, and, I, and I receive the boss. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm taking him like that. And his sort of feet are on the person's shoulders ahead of me. And then I realise, because I'm six foot seven, <laughs> That he's sort of vert he's going out vertically, <laughs> and no, and the person behind can't reach the boss to receive him. So I'm now taking the full weight of Bruce Springsteen yeah. in front of thirty thousand fans, and he's a small man, but he's a dense man. Yeah. And, it, and I was feeling the stress, and he was still, he didn't know what was going on. He's yeah, still hungry, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I'm thinking, Christ, I'm going to drop the boss. Yeah, yeah. And so I, and I remembered. Wait, old, what a, yeah, yeah. What, a, a, an old lesson. If you've got heavyweight, bend at the knees. Yes. So I sort of, I started out to l gently lower yeah. the boss like yeah. that, yeah. and then pass him on to right. the next person. And he's none the wiser, but... Uh, oh, so you're I'm exhausted at this oh, point. Oh, my goodness me. I couldn't stay for the rest of the two hours. <laughs> I had to go. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Things got rather heated between British boxer Anthony Joshua and the US's Jarrell Miller at a news conference at Madison Square Garden. Heated? Not really. Here's Anthony Joshua's slam. He's the softest puncher in the heavyweight division. <laughs> Here's Jarrell Miller's creepy comeback. You have no idea. I breathe, eat, sleep, Anthony Joshua. I got a picture of him as my screensaver, Anthony Joshua. I got a picture on my wall, Anthony Joshua. I wake up in the morning, I think, Anthony Joshua. <laughs> I think you may be in love. <laughs> with Anthony Joshua. I eat Anthony Joshua. I sleep Anthony Joshua. I hide in the bins and film Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Some people wrongly were saying it's the worst slam in boxing history. No! That honour belongs to Derek Chisora. How do you beat this man? Oh, it's like this man. Have you ever taken those pills, the laxative pills? You know, the ones you take, you pop, and you wait for 20 minutes to go to the toilet, and they go through you? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go through this man. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird analogy. <laughs> I love it. Every, it's the look, the pause, it's the perfect comeback. Bit of a weird analogy. <laughs> can it get better? Yes, it can. Everybody knew exactly what I was talking about. No, they didn't. <laughs> We've got a, uh, a game from your childhood. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, Rock'em Sock'em, do you fancy Oh, my God, Rock'em Sock'em Robots? Yeah, you fancy bang on that? You challenge me. I consider it a challenge before the whole human race, and I never lose. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Round one. Point. Come on, bitch. Yeah, yeah. That's me. That's what happens. And then you have to do that. Do you sort of, do you, do you sort of walk around like that? Do you ever do that? After all that trash talk. <laughs> Round two. Point. There we go.
again. <laughs> All right, I think this is it. This is it. This is the tiebreaker. Round three. Fight! You can't hurt what you can't touch. Uh-oh, Jabel's got a technique. You can't get inside of him, can you? Yeah, I but can. then what's it? Ah! Oh. I think we better need a, a draw. I need a replay, but yeah, it feels like a draw. <laughs> A Russian flag has appeared briefly on scaffolding outside Salisbury Cathedral. It was spotted by workers early this morning, but has since been removed. John Glenn, the city's MP, called it a stupid stunt in light of last year's Novichok attack in the city. I cannot wait for the excuses. You know, we went to Salisbury because uh, <laughs> it's the uh, most convenient place to dry my massive flag. <laughs> Just... <laughs> The wind doesn't billow like it billows in Salisbury. <laughs> Plus, we know the area well after we tried to kill that guy. <laughs> Apparently, police don't know who did it. Oh, I have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever have plastic surgery? Yeah. Uh, if I had plastic stuck in me, definitely. What would you change your body to? Well, first of all, not plastic surgery, because most things like plastic surgery don't turn out well. Right. So what would you do? Really? Well, first, I would probably, like, have a rocket. What? And then get in it? No, I wouldn't get in it, because it'd be full of nukes. Jesus, what have you built? <laughs> well, the world's most powerful is bomb. Why have you built a bomb? Well, really, because so I could try and shoot it at McDonald's so they'd give me free chicken nugget. Jesus, just, I mean, there's easier ways. From London to Brighton, Cardiff to Stroud, school children went on strike over climate change in more than 60 towns and cities across the country. This has now spilt out onto the streets. We cannot have this anarchy. Really? So, kids, why did you want to come along today? So we, so we can save the world and save polar bears. Anarchy! <laughs> that witch wants to save polar bears! <laughs> but she wasn't the only one. Look at this senseless criminal. <laughs> She's gently stroking a pony. <laughs> it's not. Anarchy, it's young people engaging in politics. And what blew my mind, rather than praising them, the Prime Minister had a pop. Theresa May criticised children protesting against climate change. And how did the kids reply? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. I mean, it looks like the most fucked up toaster I've ever seen. <laughs> There's a, a little baby bee hatching there. Just can you see it just coming out? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, look, there he look. comes, there he comes. Can you see that? That's mad, little isn't it? Little bee. What are you going to name it? Russelling. Russelling. <laughs> Russelling. Yeah, oh, I like that. Look, we, 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 got, we got a wasp attacking a bee there. Get off. That was the, the, the bee that we just saw born. Oh. That's my child oh, there. Oh, baby. It's dead. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, it needs, it needs a little bit of sugar. She Peter. needs to go to a waspital. <laughs> You're not going to take her to A and B. Nice. <laughs> oh, look at that. I thought you just want to dive straight in. Yes. Oh, my God. All right, let's go. Hey, can you hear that? Can you hear that? That's the honey being spun off. Yeah, we've left, in the sides. We've left one bee in there. Fuck oh, you <laughs> Save me, bee! Like, no! Who would like to do the honours? No surprise. Oh. The sit. ladies doing all the work. Exactly. So, whoa! Oh my God, that's just brilliant. Mm, yeah. Hey Curtis, when there's no one around and you've just had a long day, exactly. do you ever just like sit under here like this and just kind of put yourself right under it and just go like kind of like? Never do that. Do you ever do that, Curtis? You should, because yeah? it's great. It looks great, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you 
I'm gonna have such a sugar rush after this. Yeah, <laughs> well, I've been there, mate. I'm gonna have a natural high. It, it feels I like... know Bo Winnie the Boo was a jamad man. <laughs> what fun, Curtis? That was amazing. Thank you no very much indeed. Thank you very much, Curtis. I've had a lot of time. I'm myself, my <laughs> good friend Russell here will enjoy it. Let's, let's, um, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. You did. Let's get her on. <laughs> I, 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 you have had too much honey. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me. In other news, it snowed! Yeah. This, heart, this side of the room very excited, over there. <laughs> this newsreader wins my award for Innuendo of the Week. So that's it, we're on Snow Watch again. Oh, my kids will not be happy if we don't get a good dump. But, uh, we will, I'm sure we will. <laughs> but that's it for now. So we'll be back with an update after the music. Time. Thanks for that. <laughs> did, did you enjoy the snow? I'll tell you who did. The people of Cornwall. In Cornwall, a hundred drivers who were stranded in their cars last night trekked miles through the snow to spend the night in a pub. <laughs> <laughs> Classic West Country. It's snowing! Leave the car! Let's get shit face! <laughs> Grab some ice! We can make mojitos! <laughs> I bet inside that pub is like a wild orgy. Just all my uncles. Bubbles leads to troubles. <laughs> Fizzy makes me jizzy! <laughs> Unbelievably, a team of scientists found out most of the world's potatoes are severely depressed. <laughs> How do they know? A potato's crying. You open in a bag and they're like, all around me are my, my mashed up brothers, chipped up lovers, roasted mother. You people find it funny, I find it really sad. You people call it dinner, but that's my fucking dad. <laughs> sad spuds. <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? You're trying to make chips, they're ringing the Samaritans. <laughs> I guess I've never been comfortable in my own skin. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Just got a bit of a chip on my shoulder. <laughs> to, be, uh, to be honest... To be honest, the clues were there. <laughs> what was the Met Gala like? Because that's, that's the Oscars of fashion. Yeah. I would like to tell you that I woke that morning incredibly excited and enthusiastic, um, but I was vomiting my guts up. I was so nervous. Why were you nervous? Because it was something that I'd wanted to do forever, but it's this institution within the fashion system. Like, it's, it's a fundraiser and it's a party, but tickets are so expensive, you have to be invited by a brand, and a wind tour has to approve you going. Right. Somebody like me had never been before. Yeah. There is a big, long, like, 21 steps that you have to walk through, and paparazzi and photographers literally scream your name. The world is watching. Anybody yeah. who's famous is in that room. Yeah. And I remember being so nervous almost to an extent that I didn't think I'd be able to go. So I rang my dad and I was like, Dad, I just, I, I don't think I can do it. And he was like, Sinead, it's a party in a museum. You'll be fine. <laughs> um, and just amazing moments. Like you end up doing a dance off with Katy Perry as she's dressed as a burger. Um, <laughs> and You're like ringing your dad out, Wayne. It's not like a normal party, Dad. <laughs> And he's like, tell me, is it Katy Perry dressed as a burger? You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly 90 million Americans are now in the grip of dangerous cold. Wind chills to drop as low as minus 50 to minus 60. In Iowa, people were warned to avoid taking deep breaths and to minimize talking if they were going outside. <laughs> they couldn't talk. Imagine having to communicate through mime. It's going to be some confused people. Help! I need milk. <laughs> Toilet paper. <laughs> Get me an electric toothbrush, will you? <laughs> Not that it was the weirdest snow tip. <laughs> look at the handy advice we were given to look after dogs. Make sure they remain active with plenty of toys and puzzles indoors to prevent boredom. <laughs> Who gets their dog a puzzle? <laughs> Quick, get Rover and Jigsaw! 
did you finish your crossword? No, because I can lick my own dick. <laughs> This is the one, this is the one that gets me. Just like you, your dog needs a coat. No, they don't, no! Look at this poor prick. <laughs> Look at the sadness in his eyes. Imagine the shit he's gonna get off other dogs. Oi, Rover, you look like a fortune teller. <laughs> your owner called, she wants her tea cosy back. <laughs> Mind you, it's about to get much worse because apparently covering your dog's balls in glitter is now a trend. Oh. Are you ready to faint? Here's what it looks like. Ah! 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 Who vajazzles a dog's scrotum? It gets even more horrific. The glitter is edible. No! <laughs> Unexpected scenes today at Crafts. Just. <laughs> I'm not dying! No, but we are! <laughs> if you saw a zombie, how would you kill it? You would have to destroy its brain. So you'd need something like a knife, a golf club, a baseball bat, or a metal pole. I'm, I'm, I was like, hit it, cut it to the top of its head open, yep. and when I saw its brain, bang, bang, bang. Yeah. No, but then it'll come back alive because it's already dead. There's no such thing as a zombie zombie. What if that's such thing as a zombie zombie of a zombie zombie? Oh, I know what he's talking about. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> if it was the end of the world tomorrow, what would you do? I would kind of do something bad, but at the same time, I don't... I'm scared that it might not eat, actually be the end of somewhere, then tomorrow I'll get in big trouble. This is it. I don't want to be real. Go to NASA. Go in a rocket ship and fly all the way to Jupiter. Oh, very clever. I was going to do something very bad. Yeah, I was going to do... Oh, what were you going to do? Slap the Queen's face. Wow, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> You're travelling to Jupiter. You're backhanded, Liz. <laughs> I have all these sort of, what you want to call them, celebrities' phone numbers in my phone book. And stuff. Yeah, because nobody's going to turn you down. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, can I have your number? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just like any other person. Who in here wouldn't call someone if they had a couple of drinks and, like, <laughs> I've got Wayne Rooney's phone number here, shall I call him? <laughs> yeah, go on. It's, a good it's always a good idea when you're, uh, you've had a couple. And so have you been prank calling Rooney and all? I have as well, yes. <laughs> But, to be fair, <laughs> to that, be fair... Is that why you left he, the country? Yeah, <laughs> he does return the favour. Would you... Are you up for a prank call? Who you got in mind? Well, I've got my phone here. <laughs> but we could, um... This would be fun. Who, who do you want to select? Do you want to go famous or non-famous? Famous. Okay. Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer... <laughs> I haven't got Jennifer... Who do you think I am? I ain't got Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> is that who you'd like, Jennifer Lopez? Get her on the blower. How am I going to get her on the... <laughs> I'm not Siri. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, Who else have we got? Who have we got, got to substitute? We've got... Uh, I can do you Greg Davies. What? <laughs> That'd be the same, same size, you and him. Yes, he would be, yes. Right, I'm going to call him. Hello. I'm sorry, but the... Person... <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave a message. A message would be good. Hi, Greg. This is Tyson Fury. I've been asked to do a prank phone call, and they said to me, who do you want a prank phone call? I said, Jennifer Lopez. And they said, oh, no, you can do Greg Davis. I said, Greg Davis, who the fuck is Greg Davis? <laughs> <laughs> he's, not, he's not joking, Greg, he's got me! <laughs> he's got me chained up to a radiator. <laughs> Come and help me, you fucker, help me! <laughs> Who's the most famous person in your book? Most famous person in my book? Yeah, in your phone book. <sighs> Hang on, the phone's ringing. It's Greg. <laughs> Greg! <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> just being myself. <laughs> That's pushy. We're just here on live TV doing a prank phone call. Uh, and, and you were last on the list of people we wanted to call, but... <laughs> 
Greg, you're about to shit yourself, mate, because... Tyson Fury! You... <laughs> <laughs> He's a really... I know that voice. I know the Gypsy King when I hear him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a very sexy voice, isn't it, Greg? <laughs> Almost too sexy, Tyson. Oui. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you two want to get a fucking room? <laughs> <laughs> wanted to speak to someone bigger than him, didn't he? How tall are you? Because I saw you with Anthony Joshua, he looked like you were bigger than him. Six foot eight. Woo! I trumped me, I'm six foot nine. <laughs> bitch! <laughs> Why, there's no need to call him a bitch, Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me a bitch, Tyson, it's fine. Anyway, Greg, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye, because it's going to get aggressive, this phone call. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take it easy. Bye-bye. Hey, well done. Well done, mate. Right-wing trolls released this video of the young congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez dancing back in her student days. The suggestion is it was somehow undignified. Undignified? How's that undignified? She's dancing. She didn't pay off a porn star. She didn't collude with the Russians. She didn't grab anyone by the pussy. <laughs> Some Republicans called her dancing scandalous. She was having a dance at uni. That's not a scandal. When I was at uni, someone nicked my mate's milk from his fridge. He took a shit in the thief's shoe. <laughs> that is a scandal. <laughs> and he got the wrong guy. <laughs> Do you know who stole his milk? Me. <laughs> he asked me who stole it. I said, Paul, I didn't know he was capable of that. <laughs> He wouldn't stop shitting. <laughs> now, for some reason, Cortez has been attacked relentlessly. Not content with having a pop at her dancing, some troll tried to shame her by claiming this photo was her. Look at her, showing her toes. <laughs> and she was brilliant. Within hours, an expert proved it wasn't her. Was it the FBI, the CIA? No! It was perverts. <laughs> Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez foot photo identified by foot fetishists as someone else. <laughs> this is my favourite quote. One WikiFeet commentator said, I've sucked enough toes in my life to recognise when something doesn't... <laughs> God bless Rogan! I love the idea he was just sat at home, just... <laughs> of justice! <laughs> it's like the weirdest episode of CSI ever. How do you reckon she died? Let's have a look. <laughs> Veruca. <laughs> Who'd have thought foot perverts would save the day? Do you know what? Do you know what? Here you go. You bloody earned this. <laughs> It's not for you! It's for whoever that hero was out there. There you go, drink it in, you've earned that. <laughs> in fact, let's make it really special. It's not for you, beasts. There you go. Can we have some sexy... Fuck you, it's for him! <laughs> Can we have some sexy music? Make it real special. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Is that what you want? Is that what you want, your hero? <laughs> Do you want me to spit on the toe? Spit on the toe! <laughs> Have we got some... Yeah, let's make it really special. <laughs> let's go to town. Oh. oh, yeah! What should a politician look like? Well, can you hold up that sheet again? Of course I can. Now, cover up Boris Johnson's face. MPs should not look like that. <laughs> Cover up the, her face, cos MPs should not be talking into a maraca. <laughs> would you vote for me? Yeah, I would. Would you? Yeah, what would you be? What would I be? Yeah, yeah. it depends, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would improve schools. Yeah, I'd, I'd give every single child in this country a blowpipe. If a teacher was getting on their nerves, <laughs> no, 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 no. I would have loved that, no? No, I don't like it. No, OK, sorry. <laughs>
it got super weird and exciting because Jay-Z called up. The Jay-Z one was a bit of a no-brainer. That was always going to get signed because what was best, what was so great about the Jay-Z deal, I could still do everything I want to do and he would manage me to help me take it to the next level, you know? So, so he was Jay-Z like, your manager? Yeah. Which so, is pretty cool. Yeah, 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 it is, it is, it is, it is. So, um... <laughs> and what... What I love about it is the, the way that you first spoke to him. He FaceTimed you. Yeah, bro. Which is, I mean, to not know that's coming is freaky. It was because crazy. we've actually got a photo of Jay-Z. <laughs> 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 that's actually your FaceTime and... Uh, that's the truth, that's what, what it was. I like the vest. <laughs> I was going to bed. Remember, LA and London time is completely different. So They're you like were 100 hours behind and all of that, so... so... What time was that? Well, I got to bed pretty early. I was going to bed about midnight. That's right. a good time, man. Yeah, you know, not too, hey, enough to wake up no, early to start no my day. judging you. <laughs> I'm not old man, you are. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so this is good for trust. trust. So you're putting your trust oh, in another person. Oh. I, I find it quite hard because your eye level and with, with their bums a lot of the time. Yeah. Look, your head is right in the bum of the head. <laughs> I can't stop looking at their asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's Oh God, Jesus! That oh, was just—I mean, that was Lucas. Aid. Without a doubt, the worst moment was when one of the goats took a piss on my mat. Jesus! <laughs> I'm not sitting on that. That's okay. First time we turn it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then second time we went wide. There you go. Yeah, right. In breath, up we come. Yeah. You're gonna take the back heel. Ooh. I'll be honest with you, darling. It looks like you're in a specialist movie. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I've been listening to your podcast, The Butterfly Effect. You've immersed yourself in the world of porn. Yes. Were you a uh, user of porn before this? I'm, or? I'm not... A, no, I'm not really a particularly <laughs> big porn. So, so you weren't into porn, and then you suddenly find yourself... Cos you've been on sets. I've been on the set of um, Bad Babysitters Volume 2. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stepdaughter Cheerleader Orgy. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's a lot going on there, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. And this isn't a lie. We've actually we've got a photo of you on set. Yeah, I can see. Uh, there you go. That's you. I mean, but, uh, you've looked less dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a porn set called Public Disgrace. Right. So I got invited onto that set. My big memory of that night was how long it took. Like, I was still there at 2 o'clock in the morning. It just dragged on and on, and I was just sitting there thinking, Please ejaculate so I can <laughs> go home, go to sleep. Did, did you think that or shout it? <laughs> I, I thought it, and then I thought, God, I'm like a million women before me. <laughs> <laughs> now, an 82-year-old woman has described the moment she made a man regret breaking into her home in New York after she fought back. The intruder was unaware that despite Willie Murphy's age, she is still in very good shape and it's not your average 82-year-old. You can say that again. Listen to what she did to the intruder. I took that table and I went to working on him and guess what? The table broke and it had metal legs and I'm jugging him, jugging him, jugging him. And when he's down, I'm jumping on him. Uh, 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 uh. Use that bastard like a goddamn trampoline. <laughs> There's more. There's a bottle of baby shampoo on the table. I grabbed the shampoo, and guess what? He's still on the ground in his face. <laughs> Eat head and shoulders, motherfucker! <laughs> the ending was glorious. The police arrive on the porch. And the house is already open, so they come in. He's laying down already, because I had really did a number on that man. <laughs> I'm serious. Dre, she's got a sign outside the house that just says, Beware of me. <laughs> yeah. What's been the best thing about the last 10 years? My birth. Your birth. Do you want to take me for it? So I was born, then I was raised as a child. Yeah. I've had multiple birthdays yeah. and multiple Christmases. Uh huh. That is the most scientific look at life. <laughs> Let's talk this big party, 2020. How are we going to see it in? I'll, I'll just do whatever just, you want. I'll just get in my rocket robot and wreck all the monuments. Oh. Just take that, Washington Monument. <laughs> take that. Pyramids of Giza, <laughs> and I have all this Lady yeah, of Liberty. What, what, what are you looking at? Whit Gift Centre in Croydon? Take that Eiffel Tower! Tower. Stonehenge! <laughs> no one even knows what you're for. Yeah. <laughs> Is that uh, Argos? Argos in Huddersfield? Whoa, 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 whoa. Not, oh, no, Ar no, no, oh, not Argos. Yeah, not Argos, cos where am I going to shop then? <laughs> One thing we do know, tomorrow the election is over, and thank God for that, because there's been loads of brilliant stories I haven't been able to share with you. Do you know, during this election, somebody made a porn version of the Bake Off. <laughs> All those soggy bottom jokes gone. <laughs> Two weeks ago, wild boar snorted 17,000 pounds of cocaine <laughs> they found hidden in a forest. I had this photo ready to go. <laughs> 
couldn't use it. The residents of Bellend were left furious as their street sign was stolen again. <laughs> And a man in Manchester tried to have sex with a pile of leaves. <laughs> you're a massive stoner, let's yeah. talk around. And you're currently in England. Yeah. It's not legal here. Here, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a quick story. Last time I was here, this is a year ago, so I came out to go visit JJ was making uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker, what we were just calling Star Wars 9 then. So I came out and visited them and stuff. And uh, they're shooting over at, what, Pinewood? Pinewood, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I was like, hey, man, what's close to Pinewood? And I saw Slough. And I was like, Slough, like in the office, man. So I told my <laughs> wife, I was like, we're going to Slough, man. <laughs> and we got to Slough. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with it, but like, but it's, it's not, not, it's not a Slough. It's not yeah, Slough, yeah, yeah. you know? <laughs> So, and also, like, I'd walk around, I'd be like, the office, right? They're like, that was 20 years ago, bro. <laughs> so, you know, we went to stay in Slough and... Uh, you stayed in Slough? Yeah, we rented a house <laughs> in didn't Slough. have a look around and go, we should, uh, we should back out here. I, I honestly, it felt like where I grew up. It looked right, like my yeah. hometown. Tomorrow Slough. we're going to Swindon. <laughs> yes. The Swindon lot. So I was uh, delighted to hang out, go to the movie and stuff, but I had, you know, uh, weed with me and stuff. And at the end of the trip, I did a, a Q&A at the Prince Charles in Leicester Square. Yes, yeah, yeah. So a show and stuff like that. And then at the end of the show, I was getting on a plane like four hours later in the morning. So I still had weed left over. So I was telling the audience, I was like, hey man, so like after the show's done, like meet me outside and I'll give you all guys all the weed I got left. And everyone's like, okay. <laughs> in a really like fucking like, oh my God, what a, what a, this, nobody ever does this. And I like, I do this all the time back in the States. So. When I went backstage, the kids at the, at the Prince Charles were like, bro, if you give away one joint, you could go to jail for 10 years. And I was like, what, what, this jail in, in here? I was like, <laughs> nobody told me, I had yeah. no idea. So I had to go out and disappoint the fans. <laughs> a church in Mexico has revealed a huge statue of baby Jesus. Only problem, looks less like Jesus, more like Phil Collins. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Wow. And lo, the baby Jesus did say, oh, think twice. <laughs> so many questions, so many questions. Why does Jesus look like Phil Collins? <laughs> Why has he got abs? <laughs> Why is a baby receding? <laughs> Why is he wearing hot pants? <laughs> And why is he doing jazz hands? <laughs> Unbelievably, that wasn't the worst Jesus of the week. Did you see this stained glass window? What the hell is Mary holding? <laughs> well, now we all know why the windows are stained. <laughs> your balls a lot. It hurts my balls and I don't have balls. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you back in the new year.